So the next thing we want to get right is um, the the face. The face is the most important thing. Here's a close up. The face is the most important thing to get right on an animal. Now, when you're looking at this little face, can you see two triangles? I'll give you a hint. There's a big triangle and then there's a little triangle. Off of the tongue, yeah. yeah. No, think bigger. Well, one's the white part of the face, isn't it? No, so we're getting too much into the detail. So I'm, I'm going to show you by drawing on here. The big triangle I see is running through the ears to the mouth. See this line? Oh, okay. And across the top of the ears. Here's a close-up. Can you see that triangle there now? Yeah. And can you see it just sort of pokes down a little bit below? You've got this sort of boat shape here, but it just kind of comes down a little way into that. So I'm going to draw it in here. It comes a little way into it and it goes a long way outside. The corgi's got really big ears. So here's a close up of my drawing. It's still looking nothing like a corgi. And this is the trap that people get into. Can you see this close up? People go into the detail of the drawing way too soon. What you've got to do is keep the big shapes correct on your drawing first then everything else is easy you've just got to get these big shapes correct first okay so now I'm going to just check my measurements when I look at the dog's face the top of the triangle down to the top of the head to the top of the nose to the bottom of the triangle is roughly thirds there's a little bit more of a gap between the nose and the top of the head now have a look at this um, so from the top of this triangle to the top of the head, then to the top of the nose, and then to the bottom of the tongue, it's roughly the same, especially if you drew this as a straight line, it would probably be roughly the same. So it's sort of thirdsies, roughly thirdsies, a little bit more between the top of the head and the nose. So. On my drawing, I go, I'm checking it, I'm saying, is this correct? And then if I go just up here, is the top of the nose, then there's going to be a little bit more of a gap there, and that's probably okay. So I think that's alright. I think I've got that triangle right. That's just a way of checking. To check that your triangle that you've drawn is about the right proportions. Don't worry, there's extra bonus points for wonky shapes at the end of this because we're painting fast and loose. Don't worry, we're painting fast and loose. This is all just learning stuff. It doesn't mean you have to do a perfect painting. I want messy paintings. Look at how many splishy sploshies and messes on here. There's a lot of mess. So mess is what we're after. Okay, so the other triangle that I see that's really important in this face, can you see the other triangle that's inside the big one? Close Is up. The eyes and the nose? Yes, exactly. So I'm going to draw it on here. So from the centre of the eye to the bottom of the nose, centre of the eye to the bottom of the nose and then joining the two eyes. This is the triangle that I see. Now here's a close up. So I've gone from the centre of the eyes to the bottom of the nose. Now when I draw it onto the paper can you see that there's, there's actually another little triangle, if you look at, to make this easy to work out where to draw this small triangle, 
I'm going to make another triangle that runs across the top of his head. If I do that, I'll just draw the line in, right across the top of his head, I'll do it nice and dark. Can you see that if I draw that triangle smaller, then the other little triangle is perfectly inside that one, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, it is. And it's sort of um, proportional, like it's sort of, you know, like to the centre, it's a little bit smaller. Let's just see. This is hard to do over my head. So I'm going to make a smaller triangle and then the bottom of the nose I'm just going to draw the triangle to get it to look a bit like that triangle. I think it's got to be a bit smaller on there, a bit smaller on there, a bit smaller on there. So I've got a nice gap. Yeah, I think that's right. So I'm just going to rub out some of these lines that I've got wrong. So just looking at this close up of what I've drawn compared to the photo that I've drawn all over. I think that's fairly proportional. Okay, yep. It's going to the bottom of the nose and the centre of the eyes. Okay. So the eyes and the nose are not that far apart, are they? No. Our left brain, our modern mind, tells us that the eyes should be further apart and tries to trick yeah. you into drawing them further apart. That's because we're human beings and we're used to seeing human eyes all the time. Yeah.